All right, lads, so it's that time of the month once more. Five more stages have been added to the Gates of Oblivion Sankamo Tower, and of course, we're going to tackle it all in this video. And I've just realized I have almost 3,000 medals. That's kind of crazy. We're going to save those for the ninth anniversary, though. Either way, though, jumping into 116. In this case, we are up against Soybus. We want to bring a mind character, and we are forced to bring a Soybus. I'm pretty sure this stage is designed for the new Aizen, but I don't own him. I did actually do a summon on that banner, and I was fortunate enough to actually get Shintri. I was happy about it. Would have liked an Aizen, I'll be honest. His soul bomb makes him just worth summoning for to a certain extent. Either way, though, let's try and sort the rules. So we want to bring a Sorbet killer that's mind. And of course, they have to be the Sorbet themselves. So we have a few options here. Some quite old characters, to be fair. In this case, though, since this character just got resurrected, let's actually bring a Fierce Battle with Ichigo. Should be pretty easy to set up again. I've already made my character set, so here we go. Accessories are sorted, and then now the links are going to be sorted too. There we go. Nice and easy. Autos turned on. Oh, no. I need to turn off. There we go. All right. Always forget to turn those things off. Here we go. So this is going to be a pretty easy stage. We do have Ichigo. I think somewhat worked on right, because he is a good link. Might as well use our soul bomb here. Transform, right? Okay. Still such a really cool character. And with that, we've transformed all our strong attacks are back. And I'm hoping here we can just one shot over SA3. Yes, we can. Nice and easy. Fierce battle way to go. Stage 116. Cleared potentially in less than like what? 10, 20 seconds? 16 seconds. Next up is stage 117. In this case, we can only bring human characters. It is a lock stage. So whoever we do use here is going to get locked. We can always reclaim them later on if we actually need to. But it is heart damage times three and killer effect times five. We are going against hollows. This quest might be a tad bit difficult. Shouldn't really be that difficult, but it is designed for the new Ruruka. So, actually, to be fair, there's a there's a lot of cards we could bring. Could bring the Swimsuit Ruruka. Could even bring the new Arahime. But in this case, let's bring Kugo. I actually haven't used this character all that much. And, you know, I've been going on about him being a really good support for other humans like Ruruka, for example. We're eventually going to showcase that on the channel whenever the ranged Hollow Guild Quest does come back around. But those two cards are going to work really well together. And I guess in this case, if we can't bring the main character, Ruruka, we're going to bring the next best thing. Not really the next best thing, but a good support for her. All right, then. So here we go. Should be relatively easy for Kugo, even though we don't have, like, the... I don't think I've worked on him. Maybe I have. I doubt I did. And by work on of course, I got him to T20. I don't think I've gained him bonus abilities. Nor do I think I've leveled up his SP. But Kugo's honestly not a bad character for a mid-month. Has some decent strong attacks. Obviously, is now a really good support for other good characters like Ruruka. But I'd be lying. I, I want a really good Kugo, man. You know, I'm in the opinion that I wouldn't mind. Maybe now it, they maybe missed the mark to do it. But I would always love for Kugo to get an anniversary level character. Anniversaries were basically all for Ichigo's antagonist, right? But Kugo, unfortunately, you know, not, maybe not as popular. Can't really warrant an anniversary character. I don't know, but I'd be down for it. Used our Sobon that we applied the weekend in. Dodged the Soul Bomb. I thought the Soul Bomb would have killed there. That's fine, though. We did finish up with the SA3. But yeah, I... I... It's weird, man. I like this character. Would love for him to get any character. But now, you know, nine years almost into the game, maybe they missed the point to actually do that. I'm expecting the next set of anniversaries to be celebrated around Thousand Year Blood War. And I don't think Kugo can really, you know, fit in there. Maybe seventh anniversary should have been Ichigo versus Ginjo as an anniversary instead of Ichigo and Uryu. But, but I did like anniversary Uryu. So it, I'm a bit conflicted. I don't know. I would love for this character to get a really OP character sometime in the future. Because right now, unfortunate as it is, Ginjo's kind of been relegated gated to mid month characters. Next up, though, stage 118, technique damage times free, killer effect times free, and we are going against humans. This is the part of the video where I kind of forgot what this stage was designed for. Did we recently get a human killer that's technique? I don't think so. Maybe Soifon? But I thought she had like squad zero killer or stun rate. I'm not sure. Either way, though, let's look at our options. We can basically bring any technique card that we want to here. Do we have a recent human killer that I potentially own? I mean, we technically do, and Geo's actually almost max transcended, at least level 10 attack, level 10 focus, 500 attack, the most important stats. But you know what? I'm not going to bring it because I don't have a set saved for NAD characters. So I'm just going to stick to using SP character. Maybe, in fact, let's go with an SP builds. Just the same time I'm going through all my accessories and trying to find a golden chappy. We do actually start off the quest with 10 barriers, so maybe this build will work out. We are getting a good set of bonuses here, so even though we aren't using the most optimal build, we're still going to pretty much one shot, right? Uh, close enough, right? Let's dodge out the way. Let's see what our strong attacks are doing. Decent amount of damage. There we go. Only got hit three times there. And I believe we have like 10 seconds left to quickly finish up before we lose the barrier on the character. Oh, right, here we go. Five seconds left. Can Geo finish it up? Let's see it. 
Let's use our SA free, then use our soul bomb. I like the finishing attack for the sub, I'll be honest. Let's dodge that and then finish up with the night here. Go with an SP build for a night character. Work down our favor there. Pretty easy run. We didn't even get hit once. Luckily kept the barrier. Just literally one second shy of actually losing the barrier. For those that don't know, star barrier only lasts 20 seconds. Which is to be honest, always been a problem. I'll be honest. I remember when you are first came out with it. Star, I think he might have been the first character to come with star barrier. The mind one. If star barrier just lasted the entire quest until the barriers ended up going away from getting hit 10 times, I think Star Barrier would actually be a really good skill. Few more stages to go. Stage 119. Killer effect times A. A rock and damage times 2. We are going against Sorry for Captains. I think this stage in particular is designed for the Nelly L that came out in December. I don't own her, so we're going to go with potential alternative. You know, one could bring Yashu Unahana here and absolutely dominate this entire quest. I'm not going to do that. Do I have a potential other Captain Killer? Let's actually sort by Captain Killer here. Surprisingly, not that many speed captain killers. Okay. Let's go with Harley Bell, though. Let's go with Harley Bell. She's kind of a mediocre character. She was kind of mediocre on release. This was back, and I'm we're very fortunate enough to actually be past this day where, you know, back then, a character would come out, and there'd be, like, two good characters, and then one bad character. Like, that was just a random trend. We had it in Thousand Year Blood Round 1. Yaku was terrible. Round 2 of Thousand Year Blood, we had Yachinu. There was, for some reason, always this hybrid-type character in every banner that just made any banner worse. Fun enough, we're going against Ta Toshiro. He used his attack, actually froze us. Unfortunately, we've now lost all our full stamina. But we're still doing a decent amount of damage anyway, so we're going to go through it. But yeah, I'm kind of glad we're past that point now where banners come out and there's just one terrible character. Sometimes there is like a bad character, sometimes two bad characters. Not every banner is always going to be a massive hit. Let's try and dodge that. Got hit still, but we st luckily survived it. But it's like back in 2018, they purposely made one character in the banner just bad. Like, dead on arrival. It's very rare for us to get characters in this game, especially end of month characters, which I believe this banner was, to be dead on arrival. Let's dodge out the way. Luckily, just at the point where Gamera is about to use the sub-bomb, so let's go ahead and use us. Alright, there we go. Sub-bomb put him down. He's still standing, though, but it is a stage clear. But yeah, overall, I actually like this character when she came out. I actually pulled in their banner. It was her stock and also Okiora. And I actually walked away with all of them, two out of five, in just 10 steps. It was crazy. Maybe it wasn't the best thing to do because I believe like a month or two after, we then had Thousand Year Blood War. On to our last stage, though, for this month. Stage 120. Hollow damage times three. Killer effect times five. We are going against humans. This stage wants us to use the new Valentine's Day Mashiro. Again, I do not own her, so we are going to go with a different alternative. And right now, I'm conflicted between using either Love or Shinji. I'm going to go with Love, though. I like this character. He actually has the exact same strong attack kit as Yachiru, but obviously nowhere near as good as Yachiru, given that they have completely different skill sets. And also, Yachiru does have a better SA3 with the trap effects. But I honestly enjoy playing with this character. I like to use him whenever I can. I'm not that big of a love fan, but I do like his kit. I do like the character's visuals. And I just like using visors with the mask on. Especially love, because I've never actually used him prior to this character. But look at that. We are, we are breezed through. I have worked on him. He's T20, level 10 SP. Level 10 focus too. But we have absolutely breezed through this. Let's use the slow button though. Love the sub on too. At first, I thought it was quite static. I still think it kind of is. But after recently watching the anime a few months ago, a year ago, maybe this one actually, uh, the sub was actually one-to-one -one with the anime. And the problem that I had of it, it being static, was basically the exact same thing that I, as it was in the anime. So it's not that big of a problem. But there we go. Stage 120 done. While we're here, do I have any tickets? I don't want to use too many tickets for those that made it to the end of the video because right now we are potentially in save mode for the anniversary. Having said that, I don't have that many tickets. But well, let's go ahead and use our gold ticket until we get a five star. Hopefully, we can get one five star within the next 46 summons, right? Multi number one, let's just skip it. Unless it's a five star animation, we're just going to skip. Because chances are it's not going to be a fake out. I don't want to use all my tickets here, so hopefully we can get something. Is potential fake out free butterflies? No, nope, unfortunately not. On to number 40. Hopefully, here we can get one. So I can stop. I don't really have any more, <laughs> that many tickets after. Okay. We had to use all 46. That's unfortunate. But we're going to have to keep going. We're going to use 10 more. Until we get a 5 star. Until we get a 5 star. There we go. The Brave Soul tickets come through. Here we go. Who are we going to get? Can we get Aizen? That would be sick. Speaking of Stark. <laughs> we're literally just speaking about his banner. I will take it. We'll take it. He's a good link. A decent link. 
not... Oh! Ah, two in one in 10 seconds is kind of good, though. That is Tag Team Koga. Oh, three! What? <laughs> what just happened? In 10 tickets and Aaron Yero? <laughs> okay. Three, three and one. Three and one. That is kind of crazy. The question is, though, can I get a use out of them? So, Koga's a pretty decent link. Let's go ahead and reroll that. Many for the 100 extra battle power that I'm going to get from the freestyle roll. And we got the defense. That's a really good link for my thousand year blood or Orihime. Stark is now 5-5, five, five, so that's not too bad. That was honestly a quite decent mode, even though we didn't get any crazy characters. It is at the very least increasing my battle power. Let's just go ahead and use 20k trans points here. Don't really care what we do get. We got SP. That's whatever. Not really that fast and use them as a link right now. And then Aaron Yero, I believe, is also already 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, he's already max transcended. So, you know what? I, I would sell the character. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and keep him faster. Why not? Why not? Either way, lads, that was the video for today. Tackling the Gates of Oblivion Senkamon Tower. Five more stages. Stage 115 all the way to stage 120. We are going to stream Senkamon in the coming days. And also once more tackle the Gates of Oblivion on my second account. It's been like four months now since we've gotten to stage 100. And my original goal was to do all 100 stages in one stream. But just getting to 50 took long enough. So I eventually plan to finish up Gates of Oblivion on my second account. Which at this point is now 70 more stages. Can we do that in one stream? We'll find out in a couple days time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Take care and peace.